Instant noodles are a popular go-to lunch or dinner for those who are strapped for time, or cash, like college students. While you probably don't consider them a health food, you may think they're not that bad, or, at least, not as bad as eating a burger and fries or a fast food burrito. In a first-of-its-kind experiment, however, Dr. Braden Kuo of Massachusetts General Hospital may make you reconsider your love of instant noodles, assuming you have one. He used a pill-sized camera to see what happens inside your stomach and digestive tract after you eat ramen noodles, one common type of instant noodles. The results were astonishing. In the video above, you can see ramen noodles inside a stomach. Even after two hours, they are remarkably intact, much more so than the homemade ramen noodles, which were used as a comparison. This is concerning for a number of reasons. For starters, it could be putting a strain on your digestive system, which is forced to work for hours to break down this highly processed food. Ironically, most processed food is so devoid of fiber that it gets broken down very quickly, interfering with your blood sugar levels and insulin release. When food remains in your digestive tract for such a long time, it will also impact nutrient absorption, but, in the case of processed ramen noodles, there isn't much nutrition to be had. Instead, there is a long list of additives, including the toxic preservative tertiary butyl hydrokinone, TBHQ. TBHQ, a byproduct of the petroleum industry, is often listed as an antioxidant. But it's important to realize it is a synthetic chemical with antioxidant properties, not a natural antioxidant. The chemical prevents oxidation of fats and oils, thereby extending the shelf life of processed foods. It's a commonly used ingredient in processed foods of all kinds, including McDonald's chicken nuggets, Kellogg's cheese IT crackers, Reese's peanut butter cups, wheat thins crackers, Teddy Graham's, Red Baron frozen pizza, Taco Bell bins, and much more. If you're still considering ramen noodles for lunch, you should know a new study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that women who consumed more instant noodles had a significantly greater risk of metabolic syndrome than those who ate less, regardless of their overall diet or exercise habits. 6. Women who ate instant noodles more than twice a week were 68% more likely to have metabolic syndrome, a group of symptoms such as central obesity, elevated blood pressure, elevated fasting blood sugar elevated fasting triglycerides, and low levels of HDL cholesterol. What else is in a package of instant noodles? The monosodium glutamate, message, in instant noodles is reason enough to avoid them. Message is an excitotoxin, which means it overexcites your nerve cells to the point of damage or death, causing brain dysfunction and damage to varying degrees, and potentially even triggering or worsening learning disabilities, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, and more. Occasionally eating a package of instant noodles clearly won't kill you, but when you make a habit of substituting convenience foods for real food, it's only a matter of time before health problems will likely develop. Instant noodles are a prime example of the types of processed foods you want to avoid as much as possible, as they are virtually guaranteed to make you sick and fat if you indulge too much, and too much may be as little as a couple of times a week.